Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today we are discussing the 2013 to present Blomphalt 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe, a bit more elemental and stripped down than the reference 5015. This is the reference 5000. It's 43 millimeters in stainless steel rather than 45 on the standard watch and it's considerably slimmer at 13.4 millimeters thick. 50 millimeters across the wrist means I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. And it has a broad stance, though it's vintage inspired. The 23 millimeter lug spacing gives the watch a planted contemporary look. Now the Reference 5000 is a bit more basic in appearance and perhaps a bit more vintage imbued than the 5015, which is more of a lush modern take on the 50 Fathoms Heritage. This one features a little bit of crossover 60s and 70s style, and you can see that the olive drab sailcloth strap fits that mold. It's handsome, it's utilitarian, it recalls the military heritage of the 50 Fathoms family, and it's substantial, nicely bolstered with a monotone stitch. There's vulcanized rubber on the bottom that is wonderful wonderfully supple. It also isolates the strap from the oils and moisture of the wrist to keep everything wearing symmetrically and over the long term. The Blancpain buckle is gorgeous. Satin finished, robustly faceted, and as you can see inside, it features a little bit of a lofted bridge over the prongs so that the strap sits inside the buckle and doesn't stack up on your wrist. The attention to detail here, including the quality of the design, is superb. Jumping over to the case, you can see it's the same basic aesthetic. It's metal, satin finished. It is far less complex, and one might even say a bit less outlandish than the flamboyant reference 5015. All of satin finished, the character lines are dominant by the mid case as well as the flared bevel and the squared off ends of the lugs themselves. And you can see this is very vintage diver as I've got a Gerard Perigo 1966 deep diver and you can see it's almost exactly the same case profile and lug profile. So it's safe to say Blancpain nailed the style and period ambiance of this one. The crown is enormous, and again, it's a bit more stripped down and vintage inspired than the 5015, which is why there is no crown guard. And if you're wondering, was that a thing on vintage divers? You better believe it. It's ironic that I have a vintage comparison running in parallel here, but you can see just how effectively this is rendered. And because of the satin finish of the steel, it's not an ostentatious watch. The bezel has excellent action. Listen up. It is very sharp and it is very crisp. I would say it's exemplary and one of the best in the business. It's less refined than the standard 50 Fathoms, but it's chunkier and I think dive watch purists are going to find it preferable. Liquid metal and ceramic, so it's basically a scratch proof bezel insert. And then you've got the luminescent pearl that you can line up with the baton style minute hand for a zero to 60 minute timer. I prefer this by far to a chronograph. It's just easier to read. And most chronos only have a 30 minute register anyway. All the indices as well as the hands 18 karat white gold. There is a sort of anthracite gray metallic sunburst pattern to the dial. It's not the gloss that you see on the standard watch. This is a bit more dynamic than the 5015's gloss black. You'll also note that the timepiece is easy to read, common sense, and attention to detail. Note the step down from the dial to the black disc of the date. There is a step to the aperture. It's a graceful blended transition rather than a sharp break. Very little printed here. Swiss made Bathyscaphe, Blancpain 50 Fathoms, Rolex. Please take note. More like this. The timepiece does feature 300 meter water resistance, so functionally it's identical to the 5015 with one major exception we'll talk about in a minute. You've got your stop seconds, you've got your quick set date, and you've got the reference 1315 caliber on the case back. It's beautifully made, adjusted in six positions like a chronometer, 35 joules, well the chronometer I should say is adjusted in five positions, so this is adjusted in six. These are known to run to one second a day. Five day power reserve, you've got 120 hours of reserve thanks to those three barrels, and because of the even torque release of the three barrels, it maintains a high degree of amplitude consistency and isochronism for the full power reserve. It's not as though it runs fast at the beginning and slows down at the end. The three barrels kill that tendency dead. You have a 
automatic winding action for balance that beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour, and the bathyscaphe features a standard silicon anti-magnetic hairspring. That's the major difference between this and the 5015, which uses an iron shell around the movement. This gives you a display case back, and it gets its anti-magnetism from the silicon hairspring. The silicon hairspring also free sprung for shock resistance. This is a very tough movement. You can see it's also high horology finish, although there's an unconventional brushing across the bridges. In place of Cote de Genève, you can see just how broad and mirrored the chamfer is on the edge of every bridge. The anglage is enormous, optically smooth, flawless, and hand laid. You can see there's a frosted and blackened gold winding mass. You can see there's channeling around its edge with the satin finish, so it's actually a double finished mass. Black polished screw heads, there's engine turning on the base plate below the balance, and you can see there is a satin finish on the wheels of the winding system. It is absolutely gorgeous. It will benefit from the purchase of a high-grade loop such as a loop system. Tank tough, super accurate, and long-legged with a three-day power reserve. That's caliber 1315. The Bath the Scaff, a stripped-down, everyday wearable 50 Fathoms. See it and make it yours on the watch box. The 50 Fathoms Bath the Scaff by night, no joke.